Hey everybody, welcome back. I am revisiting a mill that I have been at. I've actually been here a few times, but um, I think the last time I did a full video here was like years ago. And I'm not sure how long it'll be standing. So I figured why not take a little look and I wanted to bring you along with me and show you this fabulous old mill. The details will be down below. Please check them out if you're interested in what this place used to be. But for now, for now, just enjoy the beautiful scenery. towards maybe it was a wood mill but like I said if you're interested the it'll be down in the description oh, that's really cool I love these old windows wow, look at this. isn't this beautiful I actually love all the colors yeah, look, look how the moss is growing goodness. on the brick you know, this old machinery that's still here. That's amazing. Yeah, that's really cool. I like how the sunlight's coming in through those windows up there. That's awesome. That's so cool. You can just imagine like all the work that was going on in here in this big shop area. I'm guessing that that's what this area was. Yeah, as you can tell, there was a second floor here. You think so? You think there's a third floor? Yeah, you might be right. Isn't that beautiful? It really is. This guy's what we're walking up on. I know it's old mill area but it just kind of reminds me of an old western town it's beautiful look at these buildings do you see the old tin it's incredible But you gotta see this old tin right here. Look at that. Look at the details on that. Wow. Really cool. All right, just going up these crazy metal stairs up into this mill area. Last time it was all destruction and uh, yep, it's still a big pile of destruction. Not quite sure what happened here, but as you can see, there is no ceiling or roof in this particular section of the mill. Watching closely where you're walking, you will get hurt. See what's down here. All right, crunch on the glass. <laughs> Watch that. Crunch. It looks like I'm gonna need my flashlight over here. It's kind of going down a little bit. Oh wow, there's like a rope that's kind of holding this door open over here. Not quite sure. Oh. Wow. 
crazy. This floor is on a pile of rust and broken glass. And, uh, it's really yeah, it's pretty bad. Wow. A lot of original materials from this uh, this old mill. I'm guessing it was a wood mill. Can't really see too much what's going on in here, but a lot of wood in this area. Yeah, you gotta be careful. The whole entire floor is collapsed right there. All right, so that's probably why it was roped off. There's a basement right here. And I think we should go check out upstairs. Ooh, look at these stairs or lack thereof. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna skip right over that. Oh, all right. Man, this is crazy. These stairs look so much worse. Oh, look at that, they're lopsided. And yeah, they're creaking. That creaking is this whole level. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's not really much to see up here. As you can see, the whole floor is caved in. Oh, wow. I'm back down these stairs. It's, yeah, it's so these bad. These stairs, guys. You know, she's, she's scared of this spot. The floor is literally collapsing right there. Where she was about to come down on. Yeah, and it's a mess and a stair yeah, right there. Uh, so. It's all rotted on this side. And, uh, yeah. Just be careful. <laughs> uh. All right, so back down, safe on the ground. No scary stairs right at the moment. Going to check out some of the buildings that are in this mill area complex. I'm not sure what else to call it. So uh, it looks a little worse for wear since the last time I've been here. But let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can see. Wow, check this out. That's really cool. You have the river that runs underneath. I'm sure that was serving a purpose and running this mill at one point. As you can see, there's brand new fencing all the way around. So getting in here was a little more challenging than it used to be. But it's still worth coming in and giving you a tour. Like I said, since there's a fence here, I'm not sure if they're starting to do something here. So let's take a look. So here's the back side. Look at all these chairs out here. Kind of looks like something from like a haunted house. <laughs> it really does. It it's does. Kind of yeah. Yep. Creepy. Creepy. Goodness. Oh God. What the? Ooh, it's cold in here. Cold in here. Looks like there might have been some storage. Something right here. Not quite sure what's going on. Some steps that go down into the lower level. Again, just a lot of space, a lot of workspace. Some machinery over in this room in this corner. Basically the beauty of this place is in the building itself and the machinery that's left behind. But these mills are just awesome to see. All right, let's see, I guess uh, 1991. Let's go up this level. Is this like an antique place? Well, it was used the storage at one point. 
Oh, wow, look at, yeah. Uh, I think there was a fire the last time I remember. It looked like there was some sort of a fire. There used to be a lot of antique furniture right up on this section. Wow. Look at that. It looks like there was a fire right, right in the middle of the floor. Maybe people were squatting here. I'm not sure. Wow. Let's get a shot out the window so you can see the view of this place. Isn't that beautiful? still a lot of things that have just been left behind here like i said a lot of this stuff has been here forever so i'm not quite sure if they use it as storage anymore but there are a lot of old items left behind look at that bureau right near the window yeah watch the light on that side of the room anyway. Look at that. Look at all this old stuff just left behind. Wow. Really is a beautiful place. There's another floor that goes up. But in the meantime, it makes you wonder what is going on with all this furniture. This whole area has been abandoned for years. Wow, well, look at this room in here. A lot of traffic on one side of the street, so I apologize for the noise. This is amazing. Look at this old machinery. It says maintenance department on the side. This cart right here. Oh, look at the floor. Really gotta watch it. It's a big hole in the floor right there and I was about ready to just, just go walk over there. You gotta be careful in these buildings, I'm telling you. But everything is still on the shelf. This building really is amazing. It really is starting to deteriorate pretty fast. Yeah, you gotta watch the floor. You're fine once you get in around here, but just watch it over there, but you're fine. Oof. Yeah, you can hear the floor creaking. It might be out of my mind. I take full responsibility for my own actions. Let's get a better look at the building that I'm in and get a view of the property. Isn't this amazing? Like I said, all that fencing over there, that's all brand new. So. Yeah, it said maintenance department, I noticed on the side of that cart. So, I don't know. Yeah. We gotta be really careful. The street's right there, guys. Just wanted to show you there are still remnants of when the workers used to be here. You see the windows up here? Look at that. that? See the windows up here? Wow, that's pretty cool. I love these old buildings. Man, you gotta be careful where you're walking. You can almost imagine the workers and how busy they were and what they were doing. It smells like, it just smells like wood in here. So I'm just assuming it's some sort of wood, wood mill. Look at this old machine. Does anybody know what that is? 
I mean, to me, it looks like some sort of grinding wheel, but honestly, I uh, don't know. Came around the corner pretty quick because, like I said, we're close to the street. I really don't want to be seen in the windows. But we're up here on the last level. And basically, it's just a big open space. Oh, well, look, there's another level. All right, I lied. Here's another staircase, yeah, evidently. It looks like it's just an attic. Yeah, it probably is. Oh, it's, the floor is yeah, the floor is creaking. Wow, look at it up there. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to see what's around this corner over here. It looks like it branches off into another room. You going to check that out? Yeah. All right, I'm going to be over here. All right, so I'm going to check out this way. Uh, looks like this would have been the main entrance at one point. The main road is out there. There's a staircase right here. You would have come up these stairs, I imagine, to enter into this section. Oh, look at that staircase, really cool. And here's the doorway into this section of the mill or the warehouse area. Not quite sure. It looks like it branches off into another section. Looks like they had some gears up on the ceiling over here exactly sure what they were used for. It's obviously a pulley system. Um, see if I can get a light on that. Looks like some sort of gears. All right, let's go check out this room over here. Watch the floors. Looks like there's some corrugated metal over here. Maybe they might be doing something to this place eventually because that looks like brand new corrugated metal to me. And I'm not sure, but this building is far gone, so I'm not quite sure. I don't really see it being restored. All right, so now I'm gonna go check out what's up in this area. I just explored that area right there. Creepy stairs. Ooh. Ooh. Oh wow. Look at this. Does that say poison soda ash? Okay. If anyone wants to know what poison soda ash is, I'll put a link down below. I don't know what it is. I think I did it one time, but I just don't. I think it's a preservation of some sort. All right, let me check the floors. Looks like an old workshop up here. Hmm, it kind of has that old, like woodsy, like sawdust smell. It's really cool. I like it. All right, let's see if anything's in here that we can see. Oh, look at this, some information. Received October 16th, 1972. I guess they did some crane crane work for OSHA and they had some OSHA regula regulations. Okay, so 1972. Wow, it's a pretty big area. I don't know if I actually came up to this section. Wow, what's this? Feels really spongy. Look at this. It says crown. And there's a lot of, I'm not sure if they're weights, but the, everything is numbered over here. Oh, wow. Look at this window. The window in the attic. How beautiful is that? this all right flanges pulleys all right so this is storage way up here in the attic oh, these old fittings. fittings i mean it's all wood i saw uh, something dated upstairs for 1972 Got some that's done. the winds are picking up look at this all right so we're gonna go in this building here See what's in this building over here. This is 
Beautiful. The little shop area. I'm not quite sure what this area was. Another little shop area. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So here I am worried about getting in the door when the whole wall is missing right there. <laughs> There's nothing in here, it's just empty. What is this over here? Uh, voltage. Right. Yeah, there's nothing much in here. Oh, look at that. That's the uh, that goes under the building. Yeah, the water goes right under. It would probably power the mill. Had a little bit of trouble getting out of there. My foot got stuck on the lip. But anyways, moving on. There's an old building down here off this little area, off this little path area. And wait till you see what's inside. And there's where we were, right there. It's another pathway down, but like I said, see there's the breezeway or the little walkway that we were on and it's all fenced in. And in this old building here that I'm guessing they use as a garage. But see on the inside over here. Look at this. There's a plaque still on this building. This is when this building must have been erected in 1913. So I'm guessing this is an old garage. You can get in right over here, I think. Oh, wow, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, no. Little Jaguar action. Whoa, looks like somebody ripped the roof off. This thing used to have a roof on it, but either way, it is a full convertible now. <laughs> but this is the 12-cylinder Jaguar, everybody. The XJS. I wonder what happened to these people. XJS. Yeah, like, I don't understand leaving a Jaguar behind. I just don't. Even if it's not even running, you would think it would be restored, sold, or you know, left to someone in a family. Yeah, that's just, that's just crazy though. Wow. This poor Jaguar has seen better days. Let me tell you. <laughs> Big old 12 cylinder. Spare tire still in the back. Is it upstairs? Look at these old stairs. It's almost like a metal staircase. Whoa. And there's the car down there. Check that out. Really cool from up here on this level. Do see it? An old shop, an old two story garage. I imagine this is where they did all the paperwork up on this area. Had like a little kitchen area. Crusty. What's on this? Oof. Oof. Look at that spider webs hanging in there. Nasty. This old bathroom, some old tools. Bathroom. Not much to see in this bathroom. It's crazy, some toilet paper. an old hopper. Is that what that is? I'm not quite sure what that is. Hopper. That's something that tells you that it was a garage. Quality care service. Oh, cool. Ford. 
So this mill is really cool. I mean, it has a lot of interesting bones yeah, to the place. The building is really cool, but it is falling apart. I've been here within the last six months walking around, but... Walking up here, you can kind of feel it bouncing. Yeah, you do. It's yeah. kind of spongy. Right. Thank you for coming along on this tour. Get another look at that awesome jag. That is really cool. Head on out. Yeah, there must have been footings for something. I don't know. Maybe it's a foundation for like another building or something that used to be out here. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm actually surprised that this fencing hasn't been here all along. This place is, uh, used to be open. Okay, we have a trek back to the truck. But this old mill is pretty cool. See you on the next one.